Euphoria is a show that I have been watching since its premiere in the summer of 2019. I was immediately enthralled by the camera placement, movement, and overall cinematography of a show surrounding teenagers in high school. Sam Levinson up until this point had only made one film to my knowledge, a small film called Assassination Nation. The film was a fine little action melodrama, also involving teens, who lash out in a neighborhood after the entire town's personal conversations and privacy get leaked to the public. The film was definitely interesting to say the least, and featured a lot of the same actors as the show Euphoria, such as Domingo Coleman, who played the principal of the school, or Maude Apatow. You can definitely see the vibe Sam Levinson shares in both that film and Euphoria. The episodes that have premiered since last season have a lot of differences than the first. One of the biggest is that it's no longer shot on digital cameras. It is instead shot on film, a conscious, more expensive decision, and it changes the overall feeling of every shot. The first episode of the season started with a bang, showcasing all of the characters from the first season nearly three years after the conclusion of the first. Little time had passed in the actual series, however, with the characters simply just coming back from winter break. The episode premiered to record-breaking ratings, and three episodes later, it was already renewed for season three. A lot of criticism has been thrown at the show, expressing concern over the graphic depictions of sex, abuse, drug use, and explicit themes. Personally, I've never understood this as someone who went to high school in the Bronx. People are going to have different experiences growing up, but that doesn't negate the people that have actually had these experiences. Are there scenes that are uncomfortable? Yes. Are there scenes that push boundaries? Of course. However, the show was written, and for the most part directed by an actual recovered addict in Levinson. The show has always been dark, but the visible tonal shifts from the first and second seasons have highlighted the effects of excessive drug use and out of control partying. Rue, for example, is a different person this season because she is mostly clean in the first. Season 1 ended in her relapse, and she so far has yet to recover from it. She is struggling in every episode to manage her addiction, her love life, and relationship with her family members. Along with this, you have other characters such as Sydney Sweeney's Cassie who is struggling to find out who she is, feeling the effects of an absent father. You also have Cassie's sister, Lexi, played by Maude Apatow, who although was placed in the background for season 1, has taken a step forward in season 2, not to mention all the other characters and their drama. Lexi is one of the biggest keys in the show, especially this season as she is labeled as an observer, someone who is a sort of wallflower and likes to see things play out. It is exhibited in her encounter with Nate's father in Fez's quick stop, as well as her desire to direct a play involving the characters of the show. The show is not for everyone, but is it working in what it wants to say? Time will tell, but I personally think it's getting there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for future content, and check out my social medias listed in the description below. My name is Lance, and I'll see you later.